Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been a while since I showed some Rough Rider knives and uh, Steel City Knives was uh, pretty awesome. He went back and was looking at some of my older videos in the catalog and he made a reply to this open tag on uh, five favorite uh, Rough Rider knives. And I thought, you know what? It's been a while since I had a Rough Rider on the channel and let's, uh, let's go through there. And so I have, again, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to show six knives, but it's because some of these are, are gifts. And uh, so they, they mean something. So that makes them a favorite. So some of these are favorite because they're favorite uh, knives to, uh, to carry. And some of these are uh, favorite knives because of sentimental reasons, but you can't go wrong with a Rough Rider knife. Uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Rough Rider makes fantastic knives. They are affordable. Uh, you can get them in all kinds of different covers and they are a fantastic way to explore uh, the traditional slip joint world because you can go there and you can see all kinds of patterns that you would never normally see and they're available and you can get them and they are good. Use them, uh, like them, and then if you really want to explore the pattern, then you know, go off into more expensive uh, ones. That's that's absolutely fine. But let's start with uh, this one. It's been on the channel before. And this is the Rough Rider. Uh, let me get this in, in focus. This is the Cinnamon Bone Stag uh, Barlow. And what do you know? I can't see the... Uh, Hold on a second. Let me see if I can see it this way. This is the uh, RR2429. 2429. It's a single bladed Barlow. And it's from their Cinnamon Stag Bone series. And it's just a fantastic knife. Uh, no R on the bolster. I think this was the first series that they did without the uh, R. This is the only knife I have from that series. And I really like it. I think that, you know, for a day-to-day uh, -day Barlow knife, this is just a, a fantastic, fantastic knife. Love the half stop. Love everything about this. This was a uh, knock it out of the park hit for uh, Rough Rider. Speaking of knock it out of the park hit, how about the uh, denim micarta work knife? Definitely a big time favorite of everybody. Here's your tank stamp, and it is the RR2181. Uh, nice swayback pattern. Uh, the micarta is just done well. I don't mind the swedge. It could have, it didn't need it if you ask me, but I like this knife. I like it a lot. Uh, this knife, I would say, impressed me the most from when I first got it. Uh, this is one I literally had to carry for weeks. Uh, you know, nice uh, lanyard hole on it. Uh, it's just a just a fantastic knife. Everybody, I think, if you're only going to own one Rough Rider or want to explore Rough Riders, this one is is it. Uh, the next one comes from our friend uh, John over at Thrifty Kniffy, and he gifted me this little lock back. This is a Mustang. Uh, the Mustang series is older, but you can definitely find them out there. You see it's the RR1336. Uh, just a, a fantastic little lock back. As you can see, I've used it. It's still got some tape on it. Uh, this knife was, it, it's sentimental in a lot of reasons. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, John lost some relatives. I was very sick and, and was hospitalized, and he sent this to me. And when I got it, I mean, not only did I think it's absolutely beautiful, because I love the the little blue inlays, uh, this reminds me of the kind of a knife my grandpa would carry, because he always had these little stainless steel-bodied uh, lockbacks. That was something he carried a lot of. Just a beautiful knife. And the, the meaning and the thought behind it uh definitely meant something to me and and John is just a great friend uh you know he's on the uh, lives every sunday and you know it just wouldn't be the same without him 
from the first time I saw John's uh, videos, I knew John was somebody I'd want to hang out with, and I'm lucky enough to have made that come true. Uh, he also gifted me this one, which is a uh, a TK approved trapper, and it's approved uh, because it gets rid of the ugly old spay blade. So you got a really nice uh, clip point blade. This is the, uh, uh, golly, the glare is getting to me, guys. Sorry. It is the RR892. So again, one of the older patterns. Uh, really cool little uh, federal shield with the uh, RR in the center of it. And then this is what makes it TK approved is that uh, you can get a shave and a haircut, but uh, your hair don't get cut too close, if you know what I mean. No, uh, no, no spay blade on this one. So this is uh, definitely a very cool knife. One you don't see, you don't see a lot of uh, razor trappers and, and that's okay. And that was, that brings me to my next set of uh, gift knives was uh, when it comes to trappers, uh, me and uh, Mark Kaufman, we, you know, we're having fun when I first started, you know, he put out a video about how he hated trappers, but I like trappers. And so I said that I like trappers and even Tobias got in on it. It was, it was kind of funny and everything. And Mark has become a great friend of mine. Uh, he's just, just a fantastic guy. Uh, really want to get him back on the on live, uh, on the live stream someday, but he gifted me this older rough rider. This is the tailgate trapper. And so this is, uh, one that again, they don't make anymore, but it has the, uh, reverse frost and you see, it's got the, uh, horseshoe tank stamp, which is cool. Uh, let me see if I can get the, uh, it is the RR174. I believe that's a six. And, uh, so yeah, this is just a, a really fun knife. And then the reason it's a tailgate trapper is because it is a multi-tool. You get the uh, cap lifter, the little screwdriver on the end. Just a, a fantastic knife. And I, I really love the uh, tobacco bone. But uh, he gifted me this, and, and it's really a very cool, very cool knife. I, I really like it. Uh, so I, I, can't, uh, I can't say that uh, there's anything at all wrong with this one. I, I'm going to see if I can get, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I can't get both of these blades out at the at the same time. I'm gonna try it though. Let's see here if we can get this past. There, there we go. Let's see if we can get this guy up here. There you go. There's your tailgate trapper. Just a really sweet knife. And uh, there was another time that we were sending some knives back and forth and he included this in there, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. This has uh, Patty's favorite shield on it, uh, and it's just this beautiful tobacco bone uh, lockback. I mean, look at look at that! How they do that? It's just Rough Rider. Their tobacco bone, I think, is second to none. Got a nice little finger choil there. Really uh, sweet little little lockback knife. Uh, again, I will have to defer off camera here. Uh, this is the RR. 882 882 so very cool knives so if you're going to look for these a couple of these you're going to only find on the secondary uh because they're not going to be cataloged at smkw anymore but uh definitely some of my favorite rough riders these are all ones that will never leave the collection so that definitely means that they are a favorite uh because they they definitely mean something to me and uh, like i said when you get gifts from fantastic friends and then a couple of the other ones are just absolutely fantastic designs for what you're going to get all these knives are great uh but yeah that's just uh there you go there's five favorites i hope you uh like that uh steel city that we got some uh five uh, rough riders revisited <laughs> and that's what i'll title this one you guys already know that because although i'm coming up with the title now you've already seen it so that's it for this one. I will definitely see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for uh, watching this. Let me know what your uh, what your top five Rough Riders are. We'll see you in the comments section. Talk to you later, guys.